Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick budget recap of September. I'm not going to go way into much full detail because I want to go ahead and combine this video along with my October budget overview and recap um, in my brand new budget by perch the budget by paycheck workbook. So let's get into the September recap first. This is my last month using the digital version um, that I have that I purchased um, and I just printed out. And I'm going to quickly go over, I think it's just one, two, three worksheets. It's the where did my money go monthly budget category breakdown, where did my money go monthly spending comparison, and then the debt payment plan and I'll kind of show you a little bit of my expense tracker as well. Let me just go ahead and start by going over the where did my money go monthly budget category breakdown and to be honest I didn't want to even complete finishing this out and tracking all of my expenses but I knew that we spent quite a bit of money and I wanted to make sure I track it so that in the month of October I can um, just get it together pretty much with my money and so um, for the month of September I was tracking from September 1st to October 3rd which is 34 days and I believe this was the last paycheck that my husband got from the state disability insurance that he was getting because uh, he did go back to work I think the week of October 3rd and um, so our starting balance as of September 1st in our account was $694 and our incoming income so for the month um, we received income from his state disability insurance paycheck um, some of it came from savings and some of it came from grandparents and gives us a total of $8,399 and that money pretty much went to let me just point out some of the big ones, big hefty ones. Um, food, that pretty much stayed normal because we weren't really here for the most part. I would say like 10 days. Um, we weren't here. We were in the Philippines. Um, transportation, 148 bucks, which is pretty much average of what we use. Um, fun and events. So 670 bucks is what we used for um, Disneyland, going out to eat. And when we got back from the Philippines, I just was not in the mood to cook. So we were kind of getting takeout for the most part. And I was just putting it in the fun and events category. Um, my cousin did come to visit as well. And we decided to um, eat out as well with him. Um, my cousin that was visiting from the Philippines. And then I spent $47. My husband did not spend any money on himself because the money that he does spend is when he buys food or lunch when he's at work. And since he didn't work, he didn't spend any money. And then for my kids, so pretty much spent 800 bucks because the money that we got from grandparents, we used that money to pay back the sinking fund that we had borrowed from from our kiddos um, if you guys have seen that in my August budget you guys saw that we borrowed from his from the kids sinking fund money so that we didn't have to dip into our emergency fund uh, which we ended up part of this savings here is from emergency fund um, but we decided to finally get bunk beds for them not bunk beds a bunk bed for my six-year-old we got him a loft that came with a desk that we got from ikea and we also got a couple other things that the boys needed as well um so rent um it seems kind of high this is actually two months worth because we paid for the september 1st rent and the october 1st rent so that's why it's high our rent every month is 1395 here in southern california and 652 dollars went into debt um what else so vacation money we used a thousand dollars we exchanged at first we only exchanged 500 dollars in the philippines to pesos um, but then we ended up just exchanging the whole thing and then travel related expenses we used $300 and that was towards buying things that we needed for the trip and then that's pretty much it for this and so the next one 
the next sheet is the monthly spending comparison between August and September. And anything highlighted here in blue means that we spent more. Anything highlighted in yellow means we spent less. So um, let me just point out some of the big things here. Um, funded events, <laughs> we spent $459 more in September than we did in August. The kids, we spent way more in September than August. Um, rent as well doubled again because for the month of September, we paid for rent September 1st and October 1st. That's the amount of days that I was tracking it. And then, what else? Um, and then savings was way less. We ended up, we saved this pretty much $1,000 from the month of August, but knowing that we were going to use it for the Philippines, that's why our savings was a little bit bigger. And then, um, what else here? I think that's pretty much it for all the hefty expenses. Um, for 37 days, 600, close to $650, I wouldn't say is average um, with what we spend with food. I would say on average, it would be probably $550. Um, but so that's kind of high. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for this worksheet. For the debt payment plan, we did not make any extra debt payments this month. We kept everything at a minimum. Um, and then what I like to track here or highlight here is anything highlighted in yellow is all of my husband's debt. Anything in blue is my debt. So four credit cards for my husband, four cards for me, and then I have two student loans. And then up here on the top right, I like to track our um, credit scores as well. And I write the date whenever I write um, all of this information down, just so I know um, what date it was that I wrote all these updated um, debt balances. And right now we are um, credit card total, we have about $11,582 plus my student loans of $18,691 gives us a total debt balance this month of $30,273 and last month it was $539 less and our total debt monthly progress is about 1% about 1 and then over our overall debt progress. I love this sheet because it has all of this information here. Um, so when we first started our debt-free journey, we were at $46,000 and we are, we paid off $15,756. So it's been about, so we started June 2018. So it's been about a year and a half-ish. Um, and that's how much we've paid off. And yeah, so like I said, with this month, it was just kind of like a blah month for me. Um, so I didn't even track our net worth and then monthly debt and monthly savings breakdown. I did, however, really wanted to make sure um, I kept up with the tracking expenses because I really wanted to know where our money was going. Um, because in October, let's get on into that. Let's just close this on out. Um, so, for the month of October, I kind of got irritated at myself that we spent so much money that we probably didn't need to spend. Okay, so moving on to October, yay for back to a regular paycheck. My husband went back to work on October 7th and he is now getting paid bi-weekly again, so on the 18th um, of October and then on November 1st. So. Um, the way we, I highlight this is, so anything, um, so our last state disability insurance check, um, was here on Saturday, October 5th. So anything highlighted in green, um, here, all of the bills were taken out of this paycheck. And then on his regular work paycheck, um, is highlighted in yellow. So anything highlighted in yellow is deducted from his paycheck on the 18th. And then my goal for this month, which I'm so happy that we 
um, completed was to pay back our emergency fund and brainstorm Christmas gifts, which we have already started buying Christmas presents. And so on this worksheet, it looks kind of blurry. So on this worksheet, um, it's a paycheck bill tracker and I track, so the way I do my budgets is bi-weekly. So every time he gets a paycheck, he does get paid bi-weekly. So on here, I have incoming income, um, his SDI check, leftover in our checking account, leftover that we had in cash, minus all of our bills here, gives us a total of $788 to put into our variable spending. I wasn't going to include Christmas on here, which is why it looks like it's just been added because it was. I decided to go ahead and start buying for Christmas. And on here, I made it a priority to make sure we add $700 back into our emergency fund um, because we owed it money. That way we got it back to $1,000. And then I don't use the cash method, cash envelope method, so I don't really use this part. I do, however, like this section here which says money thoughts and I just kind of wrote myself some notes um, to incorporate Christmas budget into our budget from now on. Um, our Christmas goal is to spend no more than $700 which is just for gifts. doesn't include any like holiday shopping um, like ornament shopping or anything like that like decoration shopping. And then um, on our next regular pay is to increase extra debt payment and to save at least $50 each paycheck. So um, turning over to the next page. And so for this paycheck, um, we ended up having extra money this month. Um, so it increased by $316. And... What did I have going on here? So all of our bills here, all of our income up here, and then we get um, leftover $1,351 um, to put into variable spending. And then what had happened with this month was we made an extra debt payment to uh, my husband's Capital One card of 140 And then I made... A mistake of making two payments on my student loan because I thought that I hadn't paid it yet so because um, when I was going into the accounts it's one of the ones that's not on auto pay and I have to go in and check to make sure that I paid it but when I checked it it was on a weekend so it hadn't posted yet it wasn't on my account and it didn't say it on the fed loan account either so i just made the payment anyways so I ended up making double payments so i made the regular 142 dollar payment and i made an extra payment which is okay at least it's going towards our debt um and then we ended up saving um a total of 300 dollars which um, it's not really going to any sinking funds right now. It's all going towards an emergency fund. We've decided to, um, make sure emergency fund is at $2,000 instead of a thousand. So that's what we're working on. And then as for my regular budget, um, it's not on here, but I wanted to show you guys really quickly my regular budget categories from now on, unless something changes is this guy right here I made a little cheat sheet that I carry over that I'll carry over with me so it's um, so my variable expenses are food transportation household my husband myself my kids fun and events and then a miscellaneous slash cushion and then all of our bills um, rent debt utility I've decided to add laundry into our utility bill I don't know if you guys can see that um, insurance, medical, income, and savings. And then I made a note here for seasonal things like clothes, travel, and Christmas, because we won't always have these items. Uh, we don't buy clothes all the time. If anything, that'll get taken out of my personal allowance um, or the kids' allowance. Um, and then Christmas, I'm still debating on whether or not to make a sinking fund for that for next year. So that's my little cheat sheet. And I kind of wrote what the highlighters were in the back that I use just in case I forget. And then again, I like to make myself some notes down here. Um, anything related to do with money. 
And then I think that's it for the month of October. And I am going back to tracking our expenses um, every two paychecks. So when we track our expenses, it's a 28-day period. So that's what all of this is. This is from our checking account, checking account, checking account, and cash. For the most part for this month, it was my husband using the cash because um, he just prefers it that way because sometimes his card doesn't work at some of the places he goes to eat while he's on lunch break. Um, so that's how I track all of this highlighting. Again, is you know I kind of use this little cheat sheet to remember what needs to be highlighted in what color just so I know and so it's easier to track. And I also use a post-it note when I do my weekly recaps just to make sure we stay within budget just so we don't go crazy overboard into the weekend thinking we have money when we really don't. Moving on to the monthly debt payment plan. Let me fold this over, um, see if you can see that. And again, I like to highlight which one's mine and which one's my husband's, just cause I think I've had questions before as well, asking why I have so much debt. Um, and it's kind of nice to see that it's not just all mine, it's both my husband and I. Um, and so um, I like to break it down by our, our credit card debt and then my student loan debt and then write myself a total. And again, I am um, tracking our credit scores up here. And then so for this month, we had a really good month with making extra debt payments. Um, we made a total of $330 extra debt payment. Um, and our, where is it? So our overall debt progress went from 35% in September to 36%. And I just want to want to see it growing from here or not our debt growing, but I just want to continue to tackle on debt since we have the extra money to pay it back. So um, and then the monthly net worth tracker, I decided to go ahead again and fill this out. Um, so at the time that I wrote this, it was November 3, and this is how much we had in our checking account, savings, savings number two. Um, we had zero cash left, and for our both of our vehicles, we do own thank God there's no more car payments. And these are the amounts that I found in the Kelly, that they're the Kelly Blue Book value. Um, so um, our total assets at that time, which was only a couple days ago, a few weeks ago, is 13,244. However, our debt is still at 29,626, which still puts us at a negative. Um, so our total net worth is at a negative 16,382. Um, and then as for where did my money go? Um, so this part looked a little bit different to me compared to what her other, um, this worksheet is, or the way she had it laid out here, but it's still kind of the same information. Um, starting balance, incoming income, and then total, total monthly income. And again, we are tracking um, two paychecks here. So it's for 28 days. So our total income for this month is $4,473. And then um, I didn't get to highlight whether or not we went over our budget, but I did... Let me see. Um, 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 um. Two of the big things for me here is making sure um, a big chunk of our or a chunk of our income is going to our savings and to our debt. So 21% of our income went to debt, 16% went to savings, and then the next one that's kind of high up there is our utility and our food budget. And with our food budget, we are a family of four. So with our monthly budget of $525, that comes out to about, hold on. That comes out to about 
$262 on average on food, and that includes groceries, takeout, when we eat out, um, and to be completely honest, I'm totally fine with that because we, with our groceries, we like to make sure we stock up on a couple of staple items every week, like a Sam's Club or Costco, instead of having one huge like Costco or Sam's Club run where we um, wait until all of our you know, pantry is depleted and then we go out and we spend like a lot of money um, all at once. I don't want to do that. I just want to spend it sporadically so it's not a huge chunk um, at one time. So that's why I'm kind of leaving my food budget the way it is. I'm going to play around with it and kind of deduct $10 here, maybe $25 there. Um, but for now, I'm comfortable with that monthly budget, about $500, $525-ish. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it for this one here. So for my where did my money go monthly debt and savings breakdown. Um, so on the debt part, 58% of the money we um, paid towards debt went to credit cards, 42% went to my student loans, and then 99% of our savings or 99% of the $705 we put into savings went into emergency and $5 went into our sinking fund. And that $5 is, I always forget about this because it's been on auto pay for the, ever since we opened that savings account. So it's been $5. I've just never changed it, which I probably should so that um, more gets taken out of our account instead of just $5. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that. And... The last sheet is the spending comparison and so for the month of October we tracked again 28 days in September we tracked 34 days I forgot to highlight again um, whether or not we spent more or less than the previous month but with food we did spend a little more transportation we spent more as well um, household, we spent more because we needed to replenish a couple of items like paper towels, toilet paper, um, all that kind of good stuff. Um, my husband went back to work, so he did spend a good amount of money there. Um, and then my allowance, the kids spent way less than September because they spent, we spent almost 800 bucks on them in September. Um, fun and events was also less. Um, our cushion, we spent less debt, we put in more money compared to September. Utility was eh, kind of close. Same thing with insurance. And then medical was also less because my husband wasn't, didn't have that much appointments. And then our income was also less. So it was um, in September, it was 8,231. And then in October it was 4,448 and yeah so that's pretty much it for this guy right here um, and on this page it's just a bunch of cash envelope teller slips so that is pretty much it for this recap um, I wanted to I wanted the I wanted to kind of go through it really quickly um, while I was kind of in the mood to talk about it because I've just been kind of in a slump lately where I didn't want to go back and look at my September budget because I knew that I spent so much money that I know I could have saved. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention that in the month of September, the reason why our fun and events, um, fun and events was more expensive because we did or not we, I kind of impulsed a little bit and decided to book a tour, um, a Warner Brothers tour for Friendsgiving. It's a 25th anniversary. And when I was kind of looking it up with my husband, he was like, no, go for it. I was like, are you sure? And he was just, yes. So I kind of impulsed a little bit on that. And I'm not regretting it because I'm a huge Friends fan and it's for my birthday. So um, yeah. So that's my little money confession there. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.